Hi, kitty cats. Um, guess why I'm wearing my uniform? Because we're going to read about a Navy Admiral and computer scientist. So in her honor, I put on my uniform to read about her. Okay. Jimmy was not a um, Navy. I was in the Army. But nevertheless, we're both military women. So I decided to put on my uniform to read Admiral Grace Hopper. And she's very, very important. Um, she was a Navy Admiral and computer scientist. Okay, she invented the first computer compiler for ever changing how we use computers. So if you use computers today, you should thank her. She created COBOL, the first complex computer language, and she pioneered the standards for testing computer systems. And she said, people are allergic to change. You have to get out and sell the idea. That's what Admiral Hopper said. Okay, and this is her. See, she has a little hat just like mine. Her sis has a little white in it. Mine is all navy blue. So, Grace Hopper was a Navy Admiral and a relentless trailblazer. Recognized as the mother of computer programming, she was born in New York City in 1906 and earned a PhD in mathematics at Yale in 1934, Yale University. Grace was working as a math professor at Vassar College when the United States entered World War II. In 1943, Grace quit her job to join the Women Accepted for Volunteer Emergency Service. It's called WAVES. Even though she was too small to meet the physical requirements, her mathematical mind was exactly what the country needed. The Navy assigned her to Harvard University to program one of the first ever electronic computers. When Grace saw the Mark I, she thought, gee, that's the prettiest gadget I have ever seen. She was second in command to Howard Aiken, one of the original designers of the machine. Back then, Calculations were done by a large group of people. This new computer would be able to solve equations that were too complicated for that old system. Grace's team used the Mark I to solve important problems for the war effort, including the implosion equation for the Manhattan Project. After the war, Grace joined the private sector. At the time, programmers needed the skills that came with an advanced degree in mathematics and use binary code to program. Grace Hopper thought it would be easier to just talk to a computer in English. Everyone thought Greg was nuts, but she proved them wrong when she invented the first compiler. This led her to create COBOL the first universal computer language. Thanks to Grace, just about anyone can learn to code. Grace returned to the Navy in 1967, even after she retired as the oldest person on active duty. Just a few months short of turning 80, she continued to lecture, consult, and teach always, reminding the world that most damaging phrase in the language is, We've always done it this way. So this is um, uh, uh, Grace Hopper. She received the Defense Distinguished Service Medal. She had a backward clock in her office to remind her that things don't have to work just one way. She appeared on the late show with David Letterman in 60 Minutes. She coined the term debugging when a moth got caught in the computer. So when we talk about computer bugs, that Grace Hopper named that. Her great-grandfather was also in the Navy. The Mark I computer was 51 feet high. 
She had a Jolly Roger pirate flag on her desk because she was relentless in getting that her team oh getting what her team needed. And she is famous for her cut wire sh showing the distance that electricity travels in a nanosecond. So that is Admiral Grace Hopper, who is responsible for developing and inventing the first uh, COBOL computer language so that almost anybody can code computers without being a mathemat mathematician, right? So that's her, and that's why I salute to her, right? All right, um, that's all for now, and until next time, aloha, and talk to you later. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite.